Tesco has the tagline, every little helps. And I think everyone wants to do their own thing, do their bit for the environment. If you think about what it takes to turn a plot of land into a store, there's so many different aspects of that that you can be involved in. And that's what Tesco Property Services do. If you look in store, you've got refrigeration, you've got ventilation, so many aspects of engineering, so many different um, paths that you can look at and do an engineering role within. This one is an environmental concept store for us, so the concept was to reduce the carbon footprint of the store by 30% and it's achieved a 43% reduction using various different technologies. So if you look, the first thing you'll see is a timber construction, which uses a lot less embodied carbon than steel and concrete and iron. This building is built from Gluon, which is an engineered timber solution from UK sustainable sources. The other thing you'll see if you look up is it's got a, a natural lighting, it's naturally ventilated, and you'll see what, as you walk around things like CO2 refrigeration in the store. We are focusing on what we can do so we can make a difference right now. That's why we're looking at the CO2 transcritical refrigeration. And this is certainly the first store in the Tesco estate that has that. And we can see in the future the refrigeration side being optimised a lot more than it is at the moment. It produces high grade waste heat as a byproduct of the refrigeration. And we can use that to heat the store. So not only does that give a good environment for the customers to shop in, but it saves us using electricity and using energy and using gas, kilowatt hours and carbon production on heating the store. So it benefits everyone. We, we get a great refrigeration system that works well. The customers get a good shop to shop in um, and it's all joined up. CO2 as a refrigerant has a global warming potential of one. HFCs have a global warming potential in the region of 3,000. There's a terrific amount of natural lighting in here and actually electric lighting is cunningly designed so that as the natural lighting falls away the electric lighting will come up to match. So actually we've got as much night as we need so if it was a really sunny day the light would turn right down. The key things for us are if we can avoid using energy or creating carbon let's do that in the first place. If we have to do it then we do it more efficiently using natural resources. And the last one as I say with these buildings is reducing the embodied carbon figures that we've committed to obviously is a 50% reduction in our carbon footprint by 2020 and a 50% reduction of our kilowatt hour usage by 2010 and those targets although they're going to be hard to achieve we are on course to achieve them they really help drive everyone and get everyone thinking in the same direction pulling towards an environmental benefit the company's put together a hundred million pound fund and that fund's being used to drive future innovation, so we're working with people like Brunel University, the University of Manchester on various programmes looking for what we can do in the future to develop future technologies we could apply to stores or just practical other things we could do to reduce the company's carbon footprint. Climate change is a reality. We talk to people in the water boards and other people and we talk about 100 year stores happening and they seem to be happening every 10 years now and less. So you can see the, the reality of climate change happening. We need to do something about it to turn it around for our children and actually doing what we're doing in our, in our own more way in terms of the scheme of things is, is helping that and it's setting the example as well and it's setting technologies that other people can use. Tesco's is pulling towards sort of a holistic store um, so we're not just looking at the refrigeration and the air conditioning and the retail side of things we want to join everything together and we want to involve the people that shop at the stores as well. Mm -hmm.